Hi, let's talk about very dark man Bob Risky and Don Jazzy that is trending. Hello, welcome again to my page. It's been a long time I have brought you gist and I am back like I never left. It has been a crazy moment in my life, but right now I am back and I will be giving you people updates on trending gist once again. So let's talk about the trending gist that is going on between Bob Risky don jazzy and very dark man we all know that few months ago uh, uh when bob risky came out from prison and then some of his colleagues and friends and you know in the industry supported him by gifting him some money to fall back on to bounce back and everything and then uh bob risky that we know came out to publish it and appreciate those people that gifted him, people like Don Jazzy, Tiwa Savage, Funke Akindele, and the rest more. So, and uh, a lot of things also has been going on with the leaked audio about Bob Risky confiding on a friend that actually leaked the audio saying that he never went to prison. They gave him an uh, apartment and he went ahead according to the leaked audio allegedly it was leaked stated so many names were involved in the conversation between bob risky and uh the person in the audio when they were talking but after that audio leaked and uh, according to what happened bob risky is owing that particular friend that leaked that audio four million naira so very dark man came out to call out bob risky and say, you have to pay this money. I give you so, so, so time to pay the money because I have something that will implicate you. So uh, Very Dark Man gave Bob Risky Twin for us to pay back the four million after Very Dark Man said a lot of things on the chat between the private chat and the audio without playing the audio. He said that he's going to play the audio if Bob Risky did not pay back the money. In less than three to six hours, Bob Risky paid the money back to this person, four million naira, and also added additional one million. But very dark man went ahead to publish to publish the audio, stating that this audio uh, uh, implicated a lot of names and for a better Nigeria, he has to play the audio. So very dark man went ahead to play the audio. In that audio, names were mentioned like Fabs the Bad Boys, Falano, the Fabs Father, and every and some other names were mentioned. So it has been a boaha on social media. And then uh Fabs came out to debunk the lies that. He never talked to Bob Risky in prison. That in fact, Bob Risky contacted him, but he told Bob Risky that I cannot talk to you because you have to go by the law. You have to pass through a lawyer before I can talk to you. And the Falano Shemba also debunked it and told Very Dark Man to apologize in 24 hours. And then Very Dark Man refused to apologize. And a lot was going on. Even the House of Rep called this whole party, they came, but Bob Risky did not attend because according to his lawyer, he said he was sick. So that's one went and uh, Very Dark Man refused to apologize to the Falano and they decided to go to court. And they went to court and they ordered very dark man to delete the video in let's uh, the delete the video from his page and all of his social media platform and also stated that he has to pay 500 million for damages okay mm -hmm. a little bit of apology might solve all these things because uh looking at it i am not a lawyer so i cannot say too much and please the rapper people do not come to my comment section to insult because I have noticed that what you people do is to insult people. I'm just giving my opinion on how I see things. So that all thing left. And also, Very Dark Man came out to call out Don Jazzy, saying that how can you give Bob Risky money? You are the one supporting Bob Risky lifestyle and everything. You are that, that, that. I have lost respect for you. In fact, I don't like you anymore. So that's it. And then Very Dark Man came up with an NGO. I'm just cutting the story because I've left you people for a very long time. Very Dark Man came out with an NGO. This NGO, I don't know if it is registered because if it if a if it is a registered NGO, it will be like um, 
you know, it's going to be official. So, but the bank statement that Very Dark Man brought out was his personal account, which I will say that that is not how NGO run. But who am I to say it? It's not none of my business. So, Very Dark Man published his uh, account, a personal account, and said he wants to give back to the kids that have no. Uh, way to go to school. He wants to do things with education and everything. And then very dark man posted his account details with his name, Zenith Bank and everything. And people started donating. In less than 24 hours, very dark man got 35 million Naira. And in less than, in more than 24 hours, very dark man has already gotten 45 million Naira. The next day, uh, uh, very dark man got an alert of 100 million naira and very dark man came out and cried out oh i am not a fraud though i don't know what is happening please oh police zenith bank find out who put this money for me and if i would say that wasn't really necessary but we all know who is very dark man and the way he's so dramatic and everything so he came out and then later find out that it was don jazzy that posted that i uh, sent a uh, transfer that 100 million naira to him and then uh, very dark man really shocked me and shocked a lot of people. Like he came out to pray for Don Jazzy, thank Don Jazzy, tell Nigeria it was Don Jazzy that actually sent the 100 million naira to him, praising Don Jazzy. This is the same Don Jazzy that he, was, he has once called out, insulted him, said, I've lost a lot of respect for you. And yeah. Anyway, uh, according to what he said, that Don Jazzy only supported what he wants to do with his NGO, not him, uh, per se. And I said, it doesn't matter. Don Jazzy, we all know that is, he is a very nice person. He supports a lot, a lot of people. He has support upcoming people just to make them grow. So this is not a new thing to Don Jazzy. But the one that really broke the comment back is that very dark man accepted the money. And I was like, wow, okay, oh. But why did you call out Don Jazzy that uh, you have to support? Why did you support Bob Risky? Why can, how will you support Bob Risky? That is Don Jazzy's personality. He likes to help if he can help. He likes to support. He likes to support you on your damn moment or you want to do a better thing. He's a supporter in the industry. So you see, very dark man, help can come from anywhere. And I wish you all the best of luck. I want to see transparency and accountability of what you're doing with the NGO. Because for now, we have not seen that your NGO is registered. We have not seen the progress and what you want to do with the NGO. So I hope you will let Nigeria prove to Nigerians, the ones that are thinking that you want to scam them or you want to really bring out your real color as a rate leader so i hope you're going to prove to them and just let them know that this is what you're going to be using the money for from day one very dark man has been transparent with every amount that goes into the account but nigerians are saying that they want to see what they want what the money is for and that is what we are waiting for anyway i'm going to update you on how the dragging continue between very dark man and bob risky right now bye